man accused of killing a local restaurant owner changing his plea today. They were looking for a missing person. Okay. And uh, they probably need to get back over here because I have murdered her. I'm sorry, you've done what? I've killed her. That was the 911 call from Curtis Mitchell 12 days ago, the day police found the body of Tanya Tandock. Last week, he pleaded not guilty in court. Today, Mitchell changed his plea to guilty. Cakes Madeline Anderson joins us now where uh, she was there when that happened, Madeline. Yeah, although the guilty plea was somewhat expected given that 911 call confession, both the judge and DA call Mitchell's decision in court today very unusual. Less than two weeks after his arrest in the murder of his roommate, Tanya Tanduk, Curtis Mitchell admitted to the judge he killed Tanduk by strangling her and bashing her head against the floor in her South Minneapolis street home. You told police that you knew you had to kill Ms. Tanduk, so you then straddled her body and began to strangle her by placing his hands, your hands, on her throat? Yes, sir. By pleading guilty to first-degree murder, Mitchell waives his right to a trial. He now faces life in prison without the possibility of parole for 50 years. DA Mark Bennett says it's rare for a defendant to plead guilty this early on in a case. He says Mitchell's decision will save Tandock's family and friends the difficulty of having to relive the details of the crime during a trial. But it was pretty clear that uh, Mr. Mitchell, this is what he wanted to do. Uh, he wanted to accept responsibility. For and Tandock's family and friends were not in court today, but Bennett says they were relieved to hear about the outcome.